I'm Ahmed, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about self-service. If you've heard anything about Narrator or the Activity Schema in the past, it's a very strongly opinionated way of doing data. And I'm here to tell you how I got there and how it actually works. So hopefully we'll do that in 10 minutes. So most data, as we know, kind of follows this kind of process where we start with a bunch of requests coming in. Some business stakeholder has questions. We bring that data into our data warehouse. We do a bunch of data preparation where we take that data and write a lot of SQL queries. Often it's some star schema formats to create some dimensions, create some facts, and then we put that in the dashboarding tool and then we let people visualize it. And I've been doing this thing for a while and I'm gonna just go through one of the, uh, the company before our narrator, my journey there. So the first thing we did at WeWork uh, in 2015 was we actually built this first system. We said, great, we were getting 20 questions. The company was pretty small. Uh, we used our Postgres as the warehouse and we were using a cron scheduler for our SQL queries because why not? And then we had Chartio. And it was OK, but it took, we spent a lot of time using cron. And this process took forever. So of course, Postgres and cron are terrible. So let's switch to the next hottest tool that was available. So we were like, great. Now we have Redshift, and a warehouse, yay. And we were using Luigi, which was very popular, uh, by Spotify. And we shrunk time, but we kept getting way more questions. So we're like, mm hmm you know what the problem is? Is that Luigi sucks. Let's switch to Airflow. So we switched to Airflow and we bought Tableau. We're like, fuck yeah, Tableau is going to solve all my problems. BI, they sold me. Um, but we kept getting more questions. And we're like, OK, I get it. It's not Airflow. Fuck Airflow. Let's build our own custom solution and let's buy Looker. So we bought Looker. We got rid of Chartio. And we were like, great. Still spending all our time writing SQL queries in these complex ways, dealing with a huge a lot of tables in a custom tool. I know we were all thinking, we're now more modern. Let's switch to Snowflake. And let's use dbt and looker and get the standard stack. Fuck yeah. Well, now we have way more questions coming in. We're still spending four hours in dbt building transformations. And now we have looker, which requires even more time for me to build lookml. So why the fuck does this keep happening? Well, here's the real problem. Every new question that you get from the business often requires changes to our transformation layer. And this is where all the SQL lies. This is why we have so many tools to help us understand what's going on with our data because we have lineage and all these things because we have so many queries that we need to maintain in our middle layer. So why do data models need this constant change? Well, often we think about data model and we think about people asking these kind of questions, like what's the average support ticket? What percent of tickets are billing related? These questions are no longer the questions people are asking because you can get every single one of these answers in your Zendesk production dashboard. The questions people are actually asking look a little bit more like this. Are people still submitting tickets after they view the doc site? OK. Are people, what ticket types lead to highest churn rate? The problem is that these things relate different things that don't have a clear join. They don't have a clear foreign key. And Star Schema wasn't built for something like this. And these are the questions that people are asking. If you've worked in data analysis, you've gotten hundreds and hundreds of questions about these kind of questions. So the real problem, here is the thing. Every question that requires a unique combination of data. So often what we've been thinking is that the problem has been BI tools relating data when the real problem has always been, how the hell do I join this data? And all we've done really good is we've developed a lot of hacky joins and SQL people use. People love saying that everyone needs to learn SQL because like, uh, product people don't know how to use where statements and group by. No, they can figure that out. And there's 100 SQL semantic products that help you solve that problem. The real problem is the actual join query to relate sessions and calls is like 200 lines. So how do we fix this problem? Well, what if we can remove all predefined joins from the data model and be able to relate any data for any question? How the hell do we remove data? So we invented this thing called the activity schema. It's uh, a single table approach to all of data analytics. It's one table, and you can take all your raw data from all your source tables and kind of denormalize it to be time, customer, and uh, event-based. So you can write simple queries, and you can put everything you need to do on top of this one table. And we say customer, but we've seen people use companies, properties, scooters, dogs, all sorts of things as your customer. And we've actually published this thing and wrote a spec on it, which is open source for um, at activityschema.com. And you can learn all about the single table. So let's see this thing actually in action using Narrator. So I'm going to narrate this video, and then we'll see what happens. So OK. Oh, can we make it? OK. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, sorry. Okay, so in the in narrator, this is really hard to see. 
you can define different kind of these events, these activities. So you can have your tickets from Zendesk, your uh, subscriptions from Stripe, your order from Shopify, your leads from Salesforce. And all you have to do to define this simple thing is once you connect to your data warehouse, is just simply write a tiny SQL snippet that maps the raw data into our standard 10 column structure. It takes tw uh, 14 minutes on average and it's around 25 lines. The really interesting thing here is that you never define how any of these activities relate to each other. So you never tell the system how anything relates to each other. So you always, there's no predefined joins here. So a good example that I like to often use is what happens if you're trying to relate email data to order. So when you think about emails and order data, like this specific email, did this lead to an order? You often think about, did that email get clicked? Did that click have a UTM parameters? Did that UTM parameter get copied on the website? And did that uh, UTM parameters goes on the order? So in Narrator, I can literally just come in and say, give me every open email and give me this thing called first in between uh, completed order. By using customer and time, we can actually create any relationship that you need. So in Narrator, we're gonna grab a single user, look at their entire journey, the way that we would debug it naturally. And for every email, we're gonna see in between those emails, give me the first order, and we're gonna drag all the data from that uh, activity into the table. Second one, drag it. Third one, there's nothing, let's put no. And it turns out every question you have can be answered using just these uh, 11 operators and your activities. And what Narrator is gonna do is instantly use that single table, like that one table that we just built, activity stream, and generate the data you need. And because the data is now pivoted, you can actually think of, you can start using data for analysis, you can do anything you want. Even cooler, if I scroll down to find a user who's already kind of converted, you can even right click because of this single table and see everything in that table. So across your entire data warehouse, I can see every action the customer has taken from your internal database to your Zendesk to your Salesforce across all your systems. But we could take this even further because the point of Narrator is that um, when you have standardization, you can really start reusing data and building something even more. If every company in the world that today uses Narrator has the exact same 10 column table, then we can actually reuse analyses and algorithms. And in this case, we're using one of our generic analyses to do how does campaign type impact the conversion rate to an order. And it's super simple. You just simply use that single table approach, which is in one of our templates, and you can hit run analysis and Narrator is able to do something that you kind of hope for. We standardize data, so now we can share analyses. And right now, Live is actually processing this data on the warehouse, running all these queries. Data never leaves your system. And it's able to generate a full story that is in human text that starts with a real question, tells you if it's actionable, makes clear recommendation, and uh, gives you the actual list. Not only does it give you the output, it can actually walk you through everything it's doing and all the tables it generated and all the interpretations it made to make these decisions from applying dimensional reduction to consistency to significance to a whole lot more things to the final lift. This whole thing happened without a single predefined join. And this entire process, you can see me do on any question you have. If you've seen me do this demo before or any demo, I'll be here outside afterward and you can come up with any question you have and I can show you how that question can be answered on our standard data structure super fast, super easily, all in under five minutes without ever having a data analyst predefine a single join. Thank you guys. I'm Ahmed and I look forward to talking to you.